Hello, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment and welcome to my garage. This is the G Mini Pump with built-in controller and today I'm going to demonstrate how to program it. This video is based on manual 3A6714. It's on the sales book app right under the G Mini Pump and the manuals folder. Otherwise, if you want to search for it on Graco.com, it's just a matter of searching for 3A as an apple. 6714, leave that B off because it's just the revision letter. So as you pull this up, you may even find a newer version if you're watching this video later. The simplest way to program the G Mini is just as a timer mode with time on, time off. Out of the box, it's going to be set to a one hour off time. You can see that it's running its off time because the off light is lit, the LED up here, and then the dot next to the hours is showing us that it's counting down from one hour. Let's let it sit here for a moment and see what happens after it's been on for about a minute. There, it's counting down from 59 minutes. You can see the dot has moved over here and it's now counting down from 59. So it will just give you the hour count on the display at first, but when it's in its final hour, then you'll see the countdown in minutes. Let's program this now. This little wrench symbol above the up and down arrows has a line to each of these buttons. So that's a hint that we're going to hold down the up and down arrows together. And now we're in the programming mode. The default on time is five minutes. We see the number five and we see this dot here below the double M, which is telling us it's in minutes. The green LED is lit up to show us that we are programming the on time. We can use the up and down arrows to do that. And if you want to max this out, you can go up to 30 minutes. You see here when it tried to go above 30, it just kicked it over and only let me go up to 30. So here's my maximum. Let's turn that back down. Now when we're on this digit, if you accidentally move ahead before you wanted to, or you wanted to be in this digit, but you're in this one, you do have the option to keep pushing up. So it kind of, in some ways, reads your mind a little bit. So let's just say lucky number seven. That's how long it will be pumping the grease. And now here's our one hour off time. One thing to note is that if you wanna go less than an hour, you actually can. The minimum off time is 15 minutes. So notice too, the little dot here flashing under the MM tells us that this is minutes right now. So when we click up from there, after 45 minutes, then you're just looking at full increments of an hour. 11 hours is kind of long. You can go up to 99 hours off, but that's not very practical for most systems. It's just good to know that if you have a system that needs a little bit of grease, maybe once or twice a week, you can go up to 99 hours. So let's set this to two hours. And then now when we press enter, it's back in the run mode and it's counting down from two hours. If we press this again, we see it's counting down from seven minutes on. And when we hit the cancel button, which is the same as the up arrow, we're back to our two hour off time. So that's timer mode. It's very simple. But now we wanna add a proximity switch. Every G Mini with a controller has an M12 port above the power input that will receive a proximity switch. So I'm just gonna screw mine in back here and now we need to program it to count cycles off of that proximity switch. To change the on time from a time basis to a cycle basis, we need to first get into the main setup menu again. And then we're gonna hold the up arrow for 10 seconds to get into the advanced programming. It feels like a lot more, but it's actually 10 seconds. There, A1 is the first one and we have to go all the way to A7, which is the last setting. So we're gonna just be pressing enter repeatedly. And here's A7. It says off, that's the default because that's putting it in time mode. Now we're gonna press the up arrow to turn it on. And when we press enter, now we are gonna be able to program it in cycle mode. So let's just go back in again with the up and down arrows. Here we are in setup mode. It says CY for cycle. So now we're gonna program the number of cycles. 
and 45 is a bit excessive. Let's get down to just four cycles. From there, we can go to our off time again. Here it still says two hours from before. Let's change it to one hour and then we're done. Now it's counting down from an hour. One thing to note is that you don't need to set an on time when you're setting this up to run on cycle mode. Each cycle is allowed four minutes before it goes into a fault. So let's see what happens here. There's our CY counting down from four. So all I did was press the manual run button and it's flashing back and forth between CY and four. So now I press the button and it's counting down. We get a low level because there's no grease in this reservoir, so it sees that already. But every time I'm pressing this proc switch, I'm getting a cycle. And once it gets four presses, it knows it needs to stop and go to the off time. So that's all that's to it. This is a very simple pump. It's easy to program, easy to use. If you have any questions about the G-Mini pump or any other Graco product, please reach out and contact us. We are always happy to hear from you.